The state of Idaho is involved in yet another high-profile legal case. It's headed to the Idaho Supreme Court next month. Yeah, this one has to do with instant horse racing. Scott Logan examines what's at stake and how much it could cost taxpayers. He's watching out for you and your wallet. When the governor vetoed the bill to get rid of those instant horse racing machines, he sent it back to the Senate in seven days, not five days as required by the Idaho Constitution. Now the Coeur d'Alene tribe, which wanted the machines gone from the get-go, says that the bill to repeal instant horse racing automatically became law when that five-day veto deadline passed. And the tribe wants the justices to order Secretary of State Lawrence Denny to put it on the books. Well, the question before the Idaho Supreme Court is, shall the Secretary of State be mandated to ignore a governor's veto? David Leroy represents Coeur d'Alene Racing, which maintains the veto is valid. We know these legal disputes can cost taxpayers big time. As of January, Idaho has already run up a bill of some $450,000 defending the state constitution's same-sex marriage ban. Nobody at the Idaho Attorney General's office would talk to me on camera, but spokesman Todd Dvorak told me off camera that this case wouldn't cost as much as the IEN and same-sex marriage lawsuits, because in this case, the state is representing itself and not using outside counsel. The argument against instant racing in the legislature was all about resembling illegal slot machines. The issue now before the Idaho Supreme Court is a horse of a different color. Scott Logan, KBOI 2 News, Boise. And we're staying on top of this story. The Idaho Supreme Court is scheduled to hear oral arguments on August 11th.